Pisces to your mid-month reading for May. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Okay, everyone. I finally did do my guided meditation um, on my second channel. Um, if you guys are interested in that guided meditation session uh, with music, of course, um, Go ahead and look down in your description area underneath the video, and it will have a link to that to that uh, channel, and it will literally say, uh, "Quick relaxing guided meditation." It's the only one that I have so far, so still a work in process, of course, because it's my first one. You guys know how that works, but I did take the intentions right of taking that action. I was called to do so, so I did it. Okay, so if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and go there. Okay. I'm still trying to get that 1,000 subscribers and those 4,000 watch hours, so let's do this, right? Okay, let's see what's going on, my friends. Some kind of poor communication is coming through for you guys. I've had that for a couple others as well, so it's... You know, they're always kind of linking together. Um, so let's see what's going on here. It, it feels like this communication, whatever this communication is and this poor communication, is is putting you in a lack of direction because it says that the chariot is in reverse saying, I'm, because of this communication, I don't know where I'm going. Or maybe it's, I don't know what direction our relationship is going in. Take it how it resonates. It is a general reading. But no matter what it is, and it's lack of direction again. So whatever's going on with this is making you feel like you are stuck or you are now confused. I'm not sure which direction to go in. Um, so we'll bring up, you know, everything into play over here. I mean, maybe you, if you thought you were doing something and it didn't go through, maybe that threw you for a loop, um, right? Saying, okay, and it's causing some kind of conflict, mental conflict. It could even be conflict with them through poor communication, bad news. Um, but however it is, it does feel like you are feeling stuck. I don't know where to go. Okay. Now, it definitely is some kind of message. So I'm going to say some kind of message of bad news. Maybe the message was poor communication. Maybe it was they messaged me and then they, we ended up having poor communication. We couldn't be on the same page. Um, however it is, it's going to allow you to have a quick decision, and I do feel like quick decisions will be made, but I think that what ended up happening was that um, really what I'm getting out of this is whatever happened between this bad news and this poor communication that's leaving you with a lack of direction makes you say, uh-oh, now I don't know where, where to go. It came in, this comes in so quick in the mid-month, it comes in so quick that it's almost to the point where it's like, now I don't know. Right now, I need to make a different decision about this situation because now I, I'm I'm not knowing where it is. It could be a love situation, but it's definitely causing a lot of. We have the conflict, and now we have disharmony. So it's definitely causing some kind of disharmony within a relationship. Okay, so it's definitely talking also about misaligned values. Right, like I said, maybe it was we are not on the same page. So now I have to figure out something else. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do now. Where am I? Okay, going? so let's go ahead and clarify what the chariot is here on the eight of wands. Yep, some heartache and heartbreak. So whatever is going on over here, there is definitely some upsetness and it did cause that confusion. So really feeling like you do have the three of swords, um, right? This really did hurt because this is saying, you know what, now, you know, where am I going to go within this situation? It's something that you are really trying to take action on or they are trying to take action towards you and take it how it resonates, general reading. Um, but it is looks like something that it wants to build with this situation. I want to fix this situation. Um, but okay. So there's some ambitious energy coming in with some very fast thinking and, you know, action orientated. So whatever's going on over here, there's a lot of truth seeking to this situation. It feels like you really want answers. Uh, to this poor communication, this bad news. Whatever this conflict is or whatever is going on, it looks like you're going to really reach out to really want the answers. That's what the action is really coming from as well. It's kind of like I have the clarity and the understanding that you're confusing me, you're trying to confuse me. There's a lot of disloyalty, whatever is going on over here. Um, but it does feel like 
they're not telling everything that you want. You know what I mean? When we have poor communication, a lot of times it's like we're not on the same page, but I want more answers. I want things to be justified. I want to know things, right? And I want it now. So it's just making you stronger and stronger as you're going through this situation, right? Okay. Some kind of reckless behavior going on from this person. So someone that is being reckless, whether you feel that they're reckless or they feel you are reckless, but I'm feeling it's your person. I feel like this is how this is all coming down through the bad news. Um, definitely feeling like there's a lack of inner joy from this person. This person does feel like they want to walk away from the situation. Um, there's too much heartache, too much heartbreak not feeling, they are feeling a little impatient. Like I said, if you know it's you, go ahead and make it your own. It could be both of you uh, feeling the same way. Um, but there does feel like there is a little bit of smugness going on. So it does feel like eh, a little bit of the cold shoulder situation. Okay. Uh, there could also be some indulgence going on. So if this person could be drinking a lot. I am saying it's your person because, it, you know, right now it does feel more like that. But there's a lot of scattered energy. <laughs> Definitely scattered energy. Thank you, Knight of Wands. Um, and definitely, uh, the, you know, it's kind of like, I'm just going to go to work. I'm just going to deal with what I'm dealing with, but it doesn't feel like they're wanting to come back together to this situation, even though you're seeking out the truth and wanting them to tell you what's going on within the situation. It's like, they're being very smug about the situation and walking away, whether they're actually really walking away from the situation. You guys live together. They're just pushing it under the rug. They don't want to talk about the situation. Okay. Abandoning that situation, right? Because if we're married, Sometimes we don't always talk about things. We just shut the door on that situation and leave the elephant in the room for a while until it comes back around. And sometimes in years, it doesn't even come back into play. Sometimes it never does. Um, sometimes it just gets so lost after months and months and months, depending on the situation, that it might not ever come up again. Um, but right now, there is a fear of change, so they don't want to talk about it. So they feel they're playing it safe by ignoring the situation. Whatever has gone awry over here, yeah, they don't want to talk about it. So they're pushing into their own quiet power. As they're taking quiet power, you're racing after the truth from the situation. Okay, everybody's truth is going to be a little bit different. So you know your truth. You know what happened in this situation. I'm not going to go through one million billion situations unless it 100% comes up. Okay, but right now it's talking about there needs to be some kind of um, recovery. Okay, everybody is hurt in this situation. So whatever has gone over here with this bad news, it actually feels like the bad news is like something bad happened and it caused a huge conflict, right? Everybody just, you know what, everybody's misaligned. It could even be something that happened at work. Uh, for some of you, it might even be a work situation. Okay, where everybody's just, nobody now is going to talk about that shit, right? Because you know, nobody wants to be that disorganized at work. So we're all, even though you want to seek the truth, maybe you're seeking the truth from the boss, from the manager, from a coworker, and they're trying to ignore the situation. You know, if that's a situation at work, though, guess what's going to happen? They may either actually leave work, or they could try to ignore it, or they're going to get fired. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if it's a work situation... That's probably not something you want to do that unless they're actually definitely 100% abandoning the situation. You go to work. See, because it says they're diligently working. Like, I want to ignore that situation. You know, it's like, damn it, I know you stole my coffee cup off my desk. And they want to ignore the situation, right? Leaving that situation behind. Take it how it resonates. Everybody's story is different. News, messages. You have a page of cups coming in that says that you got a new message coming in from someone else. You have a th third party situation, so somebody else is getting involved into the situation, but they want to come in and give you a happy surprise. So in the midst of all of this, this is going on, you're going to have this, this person coming in who wants to have this good news coming towards you. Okay. And no, it's not offering an apology. I do not see that. I do not see them as coming. The Page of Cups is not always an apology card, people. I don't know where the hell these people get this thing. That is not it. That is not always a card of reconciliation. It can be, but that's not what it's meant for. It's actually meant for, a, it's this happy surprise. It's a dreamer. It's a person who's bringing you news of other things, important conversations being met. This is someone who's telling you, I've got this message about you. Now, this could be someone who's coming 
they're getting involved in this situation when you're in this place of disappointment. Okay? When you're in this place of disappointment, they're coming in to give you some news. Page of Cups. Clarify on the Page of Cups. Wanting a connection. Healing a connection. With your, the greediness and self-protection. For some of you, this could be a third-party situation. If somebody was caught cheating. They don't want to talk about the situation. They would rather do this and that. And this person's actually going to go towards this other person and this person over here is telling you information about the third party situation which they could be dealing with a, a Pisces Cancer or a Capricorn or a Virgo thank you yeah this person that they're dealing with this could be the surprise because you want the truth this is where the truth is going to set you free from the situation you want to know whether or not this person is cheating this person is actually giving out the information to you to let you know that this is what you wanted because this other person has lied. So whatever this is, the Page of Cups is trying to come in to tell you the truth about the situation. It could even be the Capricorn, Virgo, the third party themselves. Um, however it is, you're going to find exactly what it is you're looking for and this will actually, um, yeah, it's actually going to give you exactly what it is you're looking for. It's going to give the clarity that you're looking for. Since this person over here is not going to give you the clarity you're looking for, they're going to walk away from the situation. Absolutely. So whatever clarity you're looking for, you're going to get it through this third party. Okay. Like I said, whether it's the third party, you know, whether it was somebody at work that's seen them take your coffee cup, you know, break it and try to dispose of it and then act like they didn't know what happened you know what I mean whatever the hell the situation is or whether this is the person they're cheating with or a, maybe it's their friend or maybe it's the cheater's friend who knows right it could be anybody I don't know um, but I'm just saying you're gonna have a third party come in to tell the truth since this person over here is hiding lying and won't won't um, come in to tell the truth they're sitting within their own truth their own callousness and their own quiet power Okay, and probably playing mind games. I wouldn't doubt that. I mean, it is the king of swords. You could be getting a little nasty about it, too. It's like, I ask, and then he might even be calling me names or something. And the sword, the sword uh, mouth, right? Okay, guys. And let's get an overall card for you. See what Spirit has to say. That's uplifting and needs to be said so we can all have positive energy. Adventure. Wonderful new experiences fill my life. Just remember, every lesson that we learn, every person that we deal with is always an adventure. If we see them more as an adventure, then it's, it helps in the end, right? Especially when we look back at the situation, okay? Freedom, boundless freedom surges through me. If we see it more as an adventure in the end, then it won't feel like we went through everything for nothing. It was for growth, lessons learned, all those great things. Till next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.